Feels good to be here. I, uh, I like fat guys. Anyone else? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a porker. Fuck yeah, dude. I do. A, a man who knows his Jimmy Johns? Get out of here, dog. Get out of here. I don't know if you know this about big dudes, but they can do this cool trick where they push down on their stomach and their dick gets bigger. <laughs> Have you ever seen this? No, you're too pretty. You've never gone through it. I'll explain. I'll explain. So, ma'am, it's they, they push down. The stomach meat turns to dick meat. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's a cool trick. It's a cool trick, but shut up. Uh, but it is a cool trick. My boyfriend's from Bakersfield, California. Has anyone done meth? Anybody done that before? Fun little trip over there. For our first date, he took me to the county fair. Has anyone ever been spoiled like that before? Has that ever happened to you? He failed to mention to me that he was bringing one of those, those hot girls from high school. One of those was coming along, okay? And, and I'm insecure at this point, you know? I, 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 I just, I, she intimidates me, okay? And she shows up to the fair in a crop top to the fair. Really, bitch? Really? A fucking crop top to the fair, bitch. I got a fried grilled cheese, one foot in the porta potty. Okay? <laughs> Do you understand? And I'm intimidated. She's tall. She's skinny. She's blonde. She's vegan. Fuck her again. Okay? <laughs> she's eating corn on the cob, and I realize that she has a mouthful of braces. And I'm going, ah, just when you think God isn't there. <laughs> there he is. I do believe in the Lord. Sorry, it's for clout. Uh, <laughs> I do, I do, you know, haven't read the whole Bible, waiting on the movie. You guys know it. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing is that when I was very young, I was like a diehard God person, you know? Like I wouldn't, I had glasses and I was like, I'm not getting contact lenses because God wants me to have glasses. What? Okay, it made no sense. And then I was in college and something didn't go my way and I was like, you're fake. And then I moved on and now, you know, I kind of like the guy or whatever. But it's never good when someone pushes their religion on you. I think we can all agree that that's the worst. That's what's bad, that's what's the worst. It's like when your friend is talking to a really hot guy online and they're like, isn't he great? Isn't he wonderful? And it's like, that's great that you like him, but some of us don't think he's real, you know? <laughs> Are you guys smart? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, okay, this will get you. So I th my problem with Catholicism, if I had to tell you, which, <laughs> which isn't the normal problem that everyone else has, not that I'm down with pedophilia, cut the tape. Okay, all right, so anyways. <laughs> Understand. Why are people so fucking shocked when a priest comes out as gay? Why is that? It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, you mean the guy that stopped having sex so he could hide behind a curtain and listen to everyone's secrets? That guy? You can't believe that the town's biggest gossip came out as gay? Do you know how much better confession would be if you sat down and you heard someone just go, no way. Do you know how much better it would be? I don't know. I'm not a prophet. I used to work at a David's Bridal. Yeah, the chillest of dresses. All right, Pete, who are you and why are you here? I, I don't, oh, did you shop at David's Bridal? I, I mean, no. No? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we, are we better than that? Are we Coles? What happened to you? I, I did not have any weddings to be in. You didn't have any weddings to be in. I think we all agree we know why. I think we all know why. <laughs> This is good. I only have seven minutes, bitch. Okay, um, <laughs> I work at a <laughs> Oh my God, oh my, you're making me laugh so hard, it's like I forgot I was raped. Um, I, <laughs> we're having fun. So anyways, at this David's bridal, back to the bit, huh? So this, this 75 year old hoe came in one time and she was a hoe, she was marrying her mailman. Isn't that fun? Cause you know, every time they fuck, he's like package delivered. You know what I'm saying? Every single time. She asked me, asked me too, she goes, hey, I don't feel like wearing my underwear while I try on these dresses, is that okay? And I was like, ma'am, this is a David's bridal, okay? You could fuck raw on that dress right now. I'm putting it back on the rack. I don't give a shit what happens in here. 
My favorite thing to do in the world is watch QVC, the shopping network. Do you guys ever watch this? It's normally reserved for two types of people. Either you have dementia or hamburger helper on layaway. Those are the groups. But the bitches that do QVC are so fucking good at their jobs, okay? They'll take a storage container and they'll be like, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Diane, look at this storage container, okay? When I look at this storage container, oh my God. <laughs> I wanna get back with my first husband, all right? I do, I do, Diane, for 19 payments of $1.83. <laughs> you can get this storage container. Let me tell you something right now, Diane, when I hold on this handle, oh my God. <laughs> like holding on to the dick of the Lord, okay? Yeah, I'm mentally ill. Um, I have very bad anxiety, and for that I take Pinot Grigio. Um, I have, my problem is, is I have very bad intrusive thoughts. Does anyone have these? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> if you don't know, Jesus Christ, if you don't what an intrusive thought is. It's basically like, let's say you, you think of something, you're like, I don't want to do that, but what if I did? So like, let's say you're driving down the freeway and you're like, I don't want to drive into oncoming traffic, but what if I did? I don't know. Or like you get on a plane and you're like, what if I were to just yell, Bin Laden had a point, you know? It's like that. But yeah, they sent me away. I, uh... <laughs> I went to a mental hospital when I was 19. I used to self-harm because I had a tumbler. And the worst part about going to a mental hospital is that they don't even bring a razor in, which makes sense. I'm not saying let's throw them in and see what happens. Although, what a documentary that would be. <laughs> but the problem <laughs> with not having a razor for two weeks is that my facial hair, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> grows as fast as a fucking dick in the night. You know what I mean? Like, it is there, and it is pronounced, and it is super hard to prove to people that you've gotten better when you leave a mental hospital with a mustache, okay? Very difficult to do. Well, you know what? I hope you have a wonderful evening, except for you, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Keep it going for Kelly Ryan.